Hi, this is Paul from paulbrattby.com and I wanted to produce this video blog for the Cisco stock on the 39 minute for the X brand algo vlog here. Uh, we had earnings uh, on Friday the 13th. Cisco gapped up into one of my support and resistance zones and basically hung on to that gap up to close near the highs on Friday. During Friday's session, we did get a six star buy. Don't like to enter trades on a Friday. Uh, so uh, one of the things I did in our Discord group, uh, which has the live signals, is that um, the signal came through on the Discord group uh, live and basically told everybody to, to look at it for Monday. May gap up, but there's a great deal of risk to reward to the next support and resistance zone. So look on that one for Monday for that particular stock. So let's have a look at what happened on, on, uh, on Monday the 16th. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. So okay, so the entry was going to be above the high of Friday sensibly and, and it didn't really want to go too much higher than that. I wanted this one to two risk to reward stock was just below the this is the signal candle here the previous candle which re, was a rejection and below this support and resistance zone was going to be my stop loss nice and tight stop so risk a thousand dollars here win two thousand dollars there that sort of risk to reward um, very very simply in the first 39 minutes uh, we gapped up we came took in the uh, the position uh, because I always have a stop limit order on, uh, took us into the position and then just kept going there. It didn't even come really back down to test his support. The first 39 minute candle had a big rejection of those lows there with that hammerhead. Uh, so great looking uh, start to this trade and then just simply managed the trade. Um, you know, once it got to uh, past 100, made it risk free, started to move up, started to go two candles behind sort of thing. Uh, eventually uh, closing out just before uh, the end of the session there. So this is pretty much a textbook type of stocks trade with the expert algo. It identifies that strong um, buy signal in this case. Six star is the strongest buy signal you can get. It comes after a catalyst like earnings. You've got to go over the next day, even though it's on a 39 minute, not nine minute time frame. But then you've got to think intraday here you've got to close out before the end of the day or have two trades running a wider stop for swing carry it over into the next day which i've done as well uh, but this was the 39 minute signal on the x brad algo got pumped into the the like the discord group there for the signals uh, but the main thing is this was a textbook case here tight stop good sensible entry you know over two over 200 percent profit times risk in in a day on this and that's all you need to take away it's pointless having the risk overnight yes it could gap up and continue to go but you've got a great trade uh you've taken it from that expert algo signal you've got you know risk a thousand dollars you've won you know two thousand five hundred dollars here or whatever it is so that's a great trade and just take it away so hopefully this helps um, again, look at those catalysts when you're trading stocks with the expert algo, uh, earnings, uh, SEC filings, that sort of thing. Is there a catalyst that, that came before that expert signal? Also, the importance of those support and resistance zones from a higher time frame. In my case, I always look at the daily time frame when I'm trading stocks. Uh, and you know when they converge and you've got lots of fresh air and risk reward, these signals are really, really hot. So hopefully that helps, and I'll speak to you all soon.